one life, one mind, one shot. If you're looking for positive energy, if you're looking to succeed in life, and you're tired of searching for the right people to help you, stop your search right now. My name is Dr. Ahmed, and I'm a life coach. Hi, my name is Dr. Ahmed, and I'd like to share a small but powerful true story with you. It was about 3 p.m. on a Saturday afternoon, and this young gentleman walked in. He was our ninth patient. Uh, he was a new patient, so obviously this was his first session. Um, after graduating from medical school, I was studying to become a licensed psychiatrist, and during that time, in my free time, I worked for a psychiatrist. I was basically shadowing him, and he taught me a lot. Uh, one of the rules of psychiatry that he taught me was that you never take your eyes off a patient, especially a new patient, once he walks into your room, because every move counts. The second thing is that close observation is the key not only to a proper diagnosis, but proper treatment as well. So I was following the book and I did exactly what he said, and I noticed this young man's behavior as he entered the room. Number one, what I noticed it was his sluggish behavior. How when he came in, his sluggish posture, his sluggish behavior, and how he closed the door very calmly. And then he came and he, was, and he was standing. And then he was waiting to be asked to be seated, very polite. He sat down, and then, and then I noticed his clothes. His clothes were very wrinkled, and it looked like he slept in the same clothes for the past two nights or so. But what impressed me was the fact that he brought in a pen and a notebook. So I knew he was ready to take, ready to take notes during this session. So then we uh, listened to this young man's story, and he was in so much pain. I mean, it is unbelievable. He was in so much pain, and what hurt was not just the amount of pain that he was going through. What hurt was the duration of the pain. I mean, this guy has been through hell for a period of several years. So much negativity in his life. I mean, every, and this negativity was coming from his family, his friends, his lifestyle. Everything in his life was negative. And the, furthermore, the extracurricular activities that he was involved in was because of these negative influences in his life. It was all circumstantial. So anyway, the doctor asked him to talk, and the doctor talked to him for about an hour, gave him some advice, uh, put a smile on his face, and then uh, prescribed him some medication, and he said, come back after two weeks. But I'd also like to add another point. What impressed me was the fact that this gentleman came in on his own. No one really pushed him to come in here and ask for help. He came in on his own. This means, this means a couple of things. Number one is that he wanted to improve his life. Number two is that he wanted to lead a productive life. And number three, deep down inside, he knew, deep down inside, he knew that this would work. And so, like I said, the doctor talked to him for an hour. Um, he uh, gave him some advice, put a smile on his face prescribed him some medication and told him to come back after two weeks or so. And then the patient left. Two weeks later, same patient comes in, but this time it's different. This time, when he walked in through the door, I noticed high energy levels. I noticed that he was well-groomed. I noticed he was smiling. And then he came and he, he told the doctor, Doc, I feel great. And then the doctor said, okay, tell me more about this. And he saw, said, well, the medication's working. And what I noticed is that he had the same notebook and he had the, the uh, pen too with him. And he was happy, so he said the medication was working. And I made an entry from our last session from two weeks ago. I made an entry every single day. And so he sat down and unfortunately what the doctor said was, what I want you to do is I'm gonna put you on medication for the next two weeks and I want you to come back after two weeks and then we'll talk from there. But this young man what actually wanted to discuss what he wrote down in the journal, but he never got a chance to do that. And that moment was the most horrifying moment for me, and it'll stick to me for the rest of my life. Because what I saw at that moment was the change in this young man's behavior. Because everything changed. He was staring at both of us, number one. And then he broke down in tears. I saw his hope, his ambitions, his expectations, his trust, everything shattered. And I knew for a fact he wasn't coming. My assumption was confirmed when he walked out of that room. When he walked out of that room, he threw his journal in the trash can. Like I mentioned earlier, my name is Dr. Ahmed, and I am studying to, to become a licensed psychiatrist, but in the meanwhile, I'm working as a life coach. 
So what is a life coach? A life coach is basically a person who sets goals and achieves them. He's a person who helps people set, set goals and achieve them. What you have to realize is that these are two different elements. Setting goals is one element and then achieving these goals is another element. So for example, I have clients who come in with a blank mind. I mean, they know the program works, so they come here with a blank mind. I mean, they don't know what to do. They just know the program works and they want to lead productive lives. They don't want to waste their life. So for these clients, what I do is I work on the first element. So we try to figure out the big picture in life, what they want from life. We try to set goals. There are other clients who come in here who have goals already in mind. It's just that they can't achieve them because they have all these other factors that they're, they're dealing with in their lives, you know, negative factors and whatnot. So for these clients, I work on the second element, which is learning how to achieve those goals. The goals are already set. It's just how do we get there? And my method is one session at a time, one step at a time, meaning one week at a time. So if you do it one week at a time, you have something to look forward to the following week. That's the basic method. Some clients want to do two to three sessions a week, which is fine, whatever works for them, but I prefer one session a week.